spring cleaning is something everyone usually does once a year, but they don't always clean out their medicine cabinet. This is a great time to go through that medicine cabinet and get rid of those things that are expired or no longer wanted. The bathroom cabinet and the kitchen cabinets aren't always the best place to store medications because there's fluctuations in heat to the temperature or the humidity, especially in the bathroom. A good place to store medication is like the linen closet or the hallway closet. Well, Jason, here we are in a typical bathroom with a medicine cabinet. What is the first thing you see wrong here? That the medicine's stored in the bathroom. Right. Not a good place, right? Correct. Okay. Come in and tell me what else you see. The first thing I see is these pills that are out of the original container. They're losing potency, and plus they could be mixed up. A lot of people travel these days. My best advice for traveling with medications is keeping them in the original containers, especially not mixing multiple tablets or pills in one container. That can lead to decreased potency, as well as mix up in medication. And if you're traveling by plane, always carry your medication in your carry-on luggage. There's so many in here. You don't know what they're not marked. You don't know what they are, and they're out of their original container. They're maybe a absorbing moisture and losing their potency. Okay. It's a danger waiting to happen, especially if there's children in here. This is very easy to get into and they can adjust those. Right. So it's got to go, right? There you go. Thank you. Families with children in the house, they should store their medications out of reach of children somewhere high in a cabinet with a childproof lock. Another thing is um, getting rid of the packaging. You can look for the expiration date. It's usually written on the prescription label if it's a prescription medication, but it's also um, on most medications as well. A good thing would be to get rid of, you know, get rid of this packaging, but take this out and cut it out and attach it to this. Oh. That way you know the frequency as well as the expiration date. <gasps> Great advice. The same thing applies with vitamins as other medications. They do have an expiration date as well. Um, and they should be stored under the same conditions as other medications because they do lose potency over time. What about some children's medication, like the liquids there? This liquid is it expired last year, but since it's stored in the medication or the bathroom where there's high humidity, some of the liquid may have evaporated and actually can be too concentrated. Oh. So I would replace that as well. Some people have medication that's left over from a prescription, such as antibiotics. These should have been completed during the course of therapy. If they're left over, they should be thrown away or disposed of. The best way to dispose of expired or unwanted medications is generally not to flush them down the toilet. You should probably mix them with something that makes them unpalatable, such as cat litter or coffee grounds. Put them in a nondescript container and throw them in the trash. Some cities also have pilot programs or community take-backs for medications. I see a lot of dates that are, or medications that are expired. Um, Where should we look for that? It's usually labeled on the packaging. Okay. This is 709. Out of date. That should go. Uh, these are out of the original container as well as they're out of date. Big no-no. This medication looks like it's been exposed to moisture. Something like this is when in doubt, throw it out. Replace that medication. And if you don't know what a medication is or if you have any questions about medications, you can always contact your local pharmacy. They'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Jason, is there anything that can stay in this bathroom cabinet? Sure. These moist wipes, these heating pads, these earplugs, this first aid kit, and these band-aids, they're all great for the medicine cabinet. So these types of products you can keep in the, the bathroom medicine cabinet, but anything that's drug-related like these others must go in the whole cabinet away from heat and humidity. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Jason. Thank you.